Welcome to my new series. In this one, my plan is to go over React. I'm not going to be systematic per se. I'm not going to be completely thorough to cover everything. I'm going to cover just a bunch of the topics. And uh, if anyone has any particular request on things they'd like to see information on, I'm open to that. So I'm just going to start at the beginning and start in this video gets you going with create react app which is a really uh, easy way of getting started with react it solves a lot of the setup problems for you um, my goal in this one is to get you started with that and then we're going to just see where we go I will put a bit of information for each video about what we'll be covering so that if you don't find that video interesting you can always skip it some of them will be connected, some of them will not. We will just see how all of this goes. This is just a general overview, work through, and we're gonna keep this nice and fluid. So let's start with Create React App. Create React App is an open source project that makes it easy to get started with React. Setting up Webpack and all that for React can be something of a pain. The purpose of this is to get you through that uh, so you just don't have to do it. You can just start with a simple command from the terminal to get started with the project. You install Create React App like this. Uh, now there's a good chance that for you to run this on your Mac, you will need to run this as sudo. And so you'll have to type in your password. So this installs Create React App globally. To do this, you will have to have Node.js installed. And so if you don't have Node.js installed, go to here, download button, whatever the current release should be totally fine. So get Node installed, um, install Create React App like this. And then whenever you want to create a project, all you have to do is uh, do this. And what this does is it starts your project. It's going to create a folder called opening project. And it's creating some starter React files. It's uh, creating a starter package JSON, a starter git ignore. It's now installing dependencies. And this can take a, a little bit, um, less than a minute probably. This will go for a while One that, once this done. Once this is done, you can jump into the folder, open up Atom, and then just start coding, really. Almost there, I think. If this seems like a long time for you, try setting up Webpack yourself. You'll, you'll be very appreciative of this. Cool. So if I look where I'm at, all I have is this one folder that I just created. It gives us instructions on what to do. Really what we're going to be focusing on is just npm start. So we need to go into the directory. And uh, here we are and you can see it created some files. I'm going to open this up in Atom, then get our editor located in a good place on the screen. So let's do this. Here we go. We have our terminal here, we have our editor here, and our browser here. So when it, whenever you create something with Create React App, like I said, you got to git ignore, package JSON, some React starter files. Let's just in, let's just jump into this. npm start. rearranged my things for me. There we go. Okay, we have a working React app. Let's go make some changes. 
If you look in the source, this is where all the React goes. If we look in app.js, this is the app that we see in the browser. One thing that's really awesome is we can make changes here, save them, and then the browser will automatically update for us. That's pretty cool. This also applies to CSS changes. So now everything's on the left. Okay, so that's create React app. This is a basic React component. Uh, and at this point, we can get started. In this series, I'm, like I, like I said before, I'm not going to be exhaustive. Uh, my goal is to just cover up, excuse me, my goal is to cover, not cover up anything. My goal is to cover a lot of React com, uh, a lot of React concepts. It may not be systematic. It, well, it won't be systematic. So this isn't a replacement for in for a real React book or something like that. This is just an overview of some concepts to go along with other things. So don't assume you're going to get everything you need to do React in this video series. Not my goal at all. I'm also going to assume that you know JavaScript. If you don't know JavaScript, then you don't need to be here. You're going to need to go find something for learning JavaScript. I'm also going to assume you know basic CSS and HTML. So if you know all those things and you're wanting to get started with React and you want somebody else's explanation, you want some supplementary material perhaps to whatever course you're taking or book or whatnot, then this is for you. Okay, so that's our first video. Uh, in the next one, we're going to actually start creating some new components and talking about some things about React and not just create React app.